so hello guys welcome back this is Viren Kumar so in this video session I am going to discuss about the stages in the YAML pipeline stages are very important if you are going to define a pipeline into the Azure DevOps for the CI CD stages play a major role and these are the major divisions in a one pipeline workflow in a software you want to build the software this is the one step and if you want to run the test cases this is the another step if you want to deploy the code or the build to the production for the pre-production environment these are the stages so if you are familiar with the software development life cycle in a software industry then you can understand these terms there are the different different stages when we start building a software and then we are deploying into the production environment a software now we want to deploy and test and build our software automatically for that we have created the pipeline concept and under the pipeline we have this stages concept okay so we are going to understand these stages concept so stages are the major playing role in the pipeline before the production now every pipeline have at least one stage if you are going to create a pipeline you need to define at least one stage if you are not going to define one stage then by default it's having the one stage that we will see means under a one stage you can create at least 250 jobs or maximum 256 jobs we can define so now to understand this is a small understanding about the stages okay let's understand the demo and then you can get the clear idea about the stages you can directly specify the job in your yaml file okay when we create the yaml file we have this pull and the steps so directly we can define the steps but this has one implicit stage and one implicit job if you are not going to define the stage externally or explicitly then implicitly the system will consider the one stage and the one job is defined okay so let's try to execute this code so for that i'm going to switch to the dev.azure.com and there i have the one pipeline sections and under the pipelines i'm going to create the one new pipeline and for I'm going to select my repository and I'm going to select the my repository name and then I'm selecting the starter pipelines and now I'm going to remove this script okay so in this script okay you know this the pull information is there you can remove everything so when you create your first pipeline so just for the demo I remove so you provide the pool information this is the agent information you need to provide otherwise where will you run your steps or your stages so for that we need the uh, pool information is required now we have the pool information the VM image is Ubuntu latest now the steps we have defined so under the steps we have the script and this is the name of the step so basically this job is without the stages so uh, we can run run a script without stage simply define okay and according to the documentations We have the hyphen bash script is going to execute so hyphen bash. So I'm going to down select the dash space. Okay, come back, select the dash, then give the space. Now you have the bash, and here I'm going to echo or how it is going to run. So we are going to provide the hello world. So we will write. 
dust. So this is the one pipeline. So this is the pipeline one as we have in our documentations without the explicit stage and the job. So we have the implicit stage and the job defined here. Now we want to run. So I'm going to save and run this pipeline. Now you can see the job is started. So let's see the job. So there the pull name is there. This is the agent pull name and the VM image is Ubuntu latest and the job is in the queue. So now it's executed. First, it will check out the code from the resource code repository. Then the one line script is there. Hello world. So it's printing the hello world. So starting command output. This is your command line script. So it's the command output is hello world. And this base level script. So starting the command output, hello world. Okay. So both of the type we have provided the input. And now we are getting the output on the command output. Okay, so this was this step one. This was the step two. So these are the executed under this pipeline. So now I'm going to edit this pipeline again. So we'll go to the next one. So the full syntax to specify stages. So suppose we have the stages. Now I want to define the stage. Okay. So directly if I so directly if I define the stage here, I will get the error. So for that, where I can define the stages. Okay. So to start with the stages, what we can do? Let's clear the script. Now, the pull information is there. We need to keep this pull information. After that, you type the S and then you will have the stages. Under the stages, this is the, this is the array. Under this array, we are going to define the one element that called name is stage. So how it will come? Hyphen space. Okay. And then you type the as and you will give the suggestions and you can select the stage. So now it's the name there. Stage name is A. So we have the stage name is A. So stage A is undefined. Okay. Now we will define the stage 2 so let's define stage b is defined so like that you can define the stages and now if you try to run so let's see it will work or not we save this one we try to run on the master branch we will get the error the stage stage name is a invalid name valid names may only contain the alpha numeric characters hyphen and may with the number okay stage stage name b has the invalid name so we are getting the invalid name error so what i can do i'm just going to remove these ones and this is the stage one stage B. So now again we are going to save the pipeline and this time try to run. Stage A must contain at least one job with no dependency. So that means if you have the stages you cannot run the stage without a job. Okay. So we have the stage A. So under the stage A we need to define the jobs. Okay. So for that, I'm going to define the jobs. So the job will come on the stages. So just type the job and this is the job 
a okay so one job i have defined under the second stage okay you again define the job okay job b so we have the job a so let's keep it job a and then we have the job b so now we have the stages this is the one array under this one we have the one element called as the stage a and every stage have the jobs so this is the jobs array and this is the job and this stage b and this is the job okay so we have the stages under the stage the name we have provided now we have the jobs okay so if you want to provide the name so let's write the name so under hyphen dash stage so hyphen dash stage under this if you want to provide some name so di display name so it is this thing this is stage a okay so we use the display now depends on settings that we will see later so that depends on we will see the letter the condition we will see the letter now pull information we have provided the variable part we will understand later and jobs we have provided so we have the pull information agent information stages are there and i have defined the one stage under this the name of this stage is this one the same thing you can do for the stage b Now I'm going to save this pipeline and now save this pipeline and you just run the pipeline. Now you can see there are two stages. This is the stage A and this is the stage B. So these stages are going to run sequentially. Okay, and when you click on the job sections, you have the two jobs, the job A and the job B. So job a first is going to run then job b will start okay so now you can see the stage a is executed first and the job a is running so stage a is completed and the job a is also completed now the stage 2 will run so once the stage is a is completed the stage second will start Okay, so the both jobs got executed successfully. This is the stage A and this is the stage B. And when you click on the job A, you can see the job A, this is the stage A. So you can see the stage name and under this stage we have the job A. And these are the steps of the job. After this stage, the stage number two will executed. This is the stage B. So job will start the job B will start here one by one. So you can see finalize the build. Okay. Once the finalize the job, it will complete it till here. Finalizing the job, clean up of the task key, starting cleanup processes and finishing the job and final build status report, the set build status for commit. Okay. So like that you can uh, define the stages. Yeah.